Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So today's video is more of kind of a follow-up than anything else. A little bit ago I discussed, um, like it was kind of advice, kind of not. It was my approach to certain individuals who have certain um, mental or medical circumstances. Um, I wanted to do a follow-up video due to something that, it, it gave me an idea based on, uh, the, the second video, later on, near the end of the video, hour long, even though it was originally supposed to be 20 minutes, oh well, um, near the end of the video, a topic came up that kind of came to my attention, and it was similar, in a way, to what was discussed beforehand. So, I kind of want to extend my thoughts a little bit on this matter this manner so the later video um, first of all of corpse party uh, the remake for the ps4 and the PC at near the spoiler alert by the way so if you guys are gamers of like horror games or anything like that spoiler alert ahead if you haven't seen the original corpse party because it's basically the same story but that out there, nearing the end of the game, one of the main protagonists of the story crosses a circumstance where they're dealing with something called darkening, um, which is basically their own inner demons. Some people give in to their own inner demons in real life. In the case of the game, darkening is basically a symbolic personified version of exactly that. And one of the major characters of the story was dealing with the darkening and almost completely gave in. And they received a text from uh, the spirit, I'm assuming, of a deceased individual that person who's receiving the messages thought that they had actually killed. But it actually, it, it realistically wasn't them, it was somebody controlling them. There's a lot going on. Let's just put it, it was the body of the individual being controlled who actually killed this individual's best friend. Person one will be the one who did the killing through the control of someone else, and person two will be the one who was killed. Person two is the one who sent the messages. And person one is going through this darkening. Person two sends, it's like a spam sent. They constantly send the same message that's basically saying, I forgive you. I understand, I forgive you. Constantly. It's six, seven, eight times they send that message. And the responses given actually on a psychological note started to make sense to me. They kept neglecting it. When I saw this scene, I immediately thought of those who went through large depression. I actually know several people who do as well, who go through that mindset. And feel like if they had seen that, watched this scene, they probably would have gotten hit hard. Now, immediately this made me think of what is going to be discussed from here throughout the rest of the video. Kind of depression that goes through someone's mind during a situation like this. It's my fault. It's my fault. I'm at fault. I did this. It's on me. It, like, constantly. And it's very hard to like convince them otherwise. They're heavily in there. And this is kind of where the continuation of the previous video kind of pushes on. So in the previous video, I discussed like an approach on this. But this is even heavier than what I was referring to. In this case, I am by them. That's something. Even in 
this story in the game that you guys will see later on. If you watch me play through the game, then you already know. It, it, maybe you've already seen play through it, but you can just watch me react to it. A very old game. Or a remake of an old game. I don't know. Your choice of words. But it gives you an option of what to say several times. If you pick the right path, the right words, then you're able to get to this scene. And person one ends up overcoming this, but not on their own. Person two is kind of like me in a sense where they won't give up on the individual regardless of what happens. And that is not, that's not over-exaggerated either. Person two was literally killed by person one, but still never gave up on person one. And that is a heavy, that is a hard thing for a lot of people to do. But because of that factor, that deep, depressive mindset of blaming oneself immediately went from, it, it's like in, forget the five stages of grief, it turned like into the two stages of grief. It jumped from depression to acceptance because of one simple act of kindness. Of the simple three words, I forgive you. Forgiveness can go a long way if it's accurately placed into the moment. And realistically, if it's not forgiveness, it's a comfort phrase of some sort. And it can help. A, a good example of this, and I'm going to be very discreet about this for confidential reasons, know somebody who's been going through a rough time. At first, I stayed out of it, completely out of it, because I didn't think I would be able to help. But as I learned more details about the situation, I stepped in and chose words very cautiously. And these words were that of those who really wanted to listen. Luckily, I wasn't the only one, so it did benefit. But the reason that I was able to help is because I'd gone through similar circumstances that led the individual to where they were. However, not the exact same, but similar enough to where they're a they could at least be comfortable in talking. That is exactly what person two did for person one in that story. And it is exactly what I was reminded of. That mindset, being there for someone, choosing the right words to comfort them, and following them to the bitter end as much as you're capable, even if that capability is very slim, goes a long way. And it's something that, for a lot of individuals nowadays, can't just be overlooked. Corpse Party, actually, the name of the game, Corpse Party, gives a perfect example of why. If you abandon someone, You're leaving that someone in a probably one of the worst situations the planet can, uh, our world can possibly see. And the story, reality as well, at least for me, shows this time and time and time again. It is difficult. It is very difficult to just go through life without some kind of support, even for me. Now, I'm not the kind of person with depression or anxiety, but, or at least clinical, but 
even I have those moments where I absolutely need somebody else there. Absolutely no questions asked. And this is something that's cannot be overseen. If you ever, ever see someone who needs some kind of comfort, what are simple words? Even if it's simply just somebody to talk to. And you get any kind of urge to do it, don't ignore that. It won't go well. I have ignored these kind of things before in my real life, and it only led certain individuals down, not their worst path, but a worse path than what could have been, if that makes sense. Now, this is just from my experience, mind you. Not everyone ends up experiencing these same circumstances. Obviously. For those who are like, well, yeah, 7.1 billion people on the planet, if all of them experience the same thing, what are we doing here? Hey, maybe there's someone nearby who you may have met or may not have met yet. You just need that random act. A simple random act of kindness. Of simply just listening. And being there. It doesn't matter where it leads and where it goes. That one act can alter futures in an extreme way. ways that some people don't even think about. Now bear in mind this is also kind of coming from a person who thinks, who believes that going about things, you, you there are several different paths that can be taken. Several different outcomes that can happen. It's coming from someone who actually does believe that. So if you don't believe that, to each their own, it's fine. But this is just kind of supportive of what I believe. have someone right around the corner who may need you at some point. So can I. And we'll find out in the future. Right now, I'm actually going to end this here. Hopefully there's not an extension after this. I wasn't exactly planning on doing a part two of this video. But, hmm. anyways, thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, if there was any confusion on reference, I apologize. It's, it's the best I could do. If you're confused on like the reference to the story Corpse Party, Person 1 and Person 2, if I explained it poorly in your opinion, you're more than welcome to check out the video later on today. Uh, it is about an hour long, so you'll be sitting through quite the bit. Um, but it does give a fair reaction. For videos like this, though, uh, if you like vlogs like this, let me give the video a like. Or consider subscribing to the channel, because there's always one vlog every day. It's scattered topics, but it is there nonetheless. But speaking of, if you want to check out any other discussion around videos like this one, click link on the side of my head on this side, where you'll find over 270 videos at this point. This side will give you a random video that you may enjoy a bit more if this is not quite floating your boat, or maybe it is floating your boat, and it'll give you another video to watch as soon as you guys see it. Either way around, though, I'm going to head off. Thanks for tuning into this video, guys. See you guys later.